Bringing out the old trusty sheriff. Back to my left. Pop the dash. Angle. Pop the dash. Don't stand this close to the wall. You're pretty much fully exposed. You're pretty much fully exposed to this close to the wall like this. You have to be further back from the wall to have less of your body showing. Okay, now you're going to get scanned as well. This is tough. <laughs> get the out of here, hydrator. What the was this what was that how how did this happen that was like what am i watching no way you got scanned twice and you pre-fired this guy and he, how did you lose how did he lose that how did he lose that dude hydrator i don't know how you have the balls to do this play man but like oh my god that was what <laughs> <laughs> he does better. Hello, my name is Worthy, a professional Valorant coach. If you're looking to climb the ranks and improve your overall gameplay, you definitely want to leave a like and a sub. Also, if you comment your Discord name in the comment section below, once per month, I choose one lucky commenter to win a free one-on-one -on -one session. Best of luck and enjoy the video. Pre-fire it. Fall away. Right, run away! Run away! Get out of here! Get the Right to boat, right to boathouse, right to boathouse. Don't challenge this. They're gonna be right in your face now. You need to go to boathouse. You play in boathouse. You're able to fade in and out. You give your team a little bit more time to rotate into you. If you do this, you're gonna take a direct fight. You probably get traded. You lose the. You basically lose the site, and it's a two v two with bomb down. So that's a bad position for your team to be in. If you play back site, you can easily isolate fights from stairs, and you can easily fight isolate fights from lane. For them to kill you, they have to physically jump down, and that makes them susceptible to be killed again as well. So boathouse in this situation, one hundred thousand percent, you go there. There's no other place you go. You're now in big trouble going this direction. So, even though you got killed there, you could have been killed from lane as well. The way that right. you gotta think about playing defense and going for frags is this. If you get one, that's great. If you go for two, that's greed, okay? One is enough. If you get one kill, get the hell out. Get a kill, fall back. So, if you're going aggressive on defense, I want you to actively think about if you think you're going to take a fight, you pop that dash, you go out for that fight, take the fight, you take your get out of jail free card, you get out of there. Dash, throw your cloud burst, survive. Take the money and run. Because if you sit here, and by the way, this is silver, if you're in a higher rank, this would have happened much sooner. They would have, they would have jumped all over you earlier. So, it's good to see that you got punished like this. Take the kill, fall back. You putting your team into a 5v4 is high value. You putting your team into a 4v4, it's just making it easier for them to win. A little base of the trains, yeah, I know. Brutal. <laughs> that whole map was just a shit show. The stage walled it off, let's rotate. Okay, this is a very important piece. You do not just rotate off of a sage wall. You have to break at least one brick. Break at least one brick, and then you can rotate off. Because you need to keep this area a threat to them. If they know that that wall is there the entire time, they're not even gonna bother with A anymore. They're gonna go stack towards B. And they're gonna be running into a major stack, either towards mid or towards B. Okay? Okay. It's like I can. It's like I've played this game before. It's like I played oh, this I game before. <laughs> of course they're going. Of course they're going to do this. They have it walled off, right? So why not? Why not push through mid? That's that's a usual thing, All right? Don't stand still here. So this is an on angle. Don't stand still here. They just shot a, a dart here as well. So there's a good chance they're going to swing out on you. If you're in a higher rank, they immediately lay you out. You could be dead in three, two, I am dead. one. Peak dead? No. Here it is. You should be dead. You should be dead. So maybe. <laughs> I say, so I would say it's probably, in my opinion, I think it's good to be an A. There's a chance it could be a B split. If this, if the Silva's leading in here, I think they're just all over the place and they're most likely ending A. Guess on this. Health, I feel back. There was no other information. They just threw a dart and they started pushing into you. That to me makes no sense. Oh look, they're going A. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> what the? F and you haven't even popped your dash either. You got balls of steel. <laughs> Let me tell you. So let's go back here because this was this was crazy. So you made a plan, which is great, but I also want you to actively communicate when you're doing things. Okay, this dude is Rambo. I know, right? <laughs> this guy's going in, man. This guy's going in. <laughs> Rain is on the left side. Wow. A little right. darkness, my old friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
There's there's a lot of darkness here. <laughs> there's a lot of darkness. <laughs> so you definitely saw it right here. The biggest thing here is that you have your get out of jail free card. That's the most important thing. I don't think you've popped your dash too actively in this game so far. And this is definitely a situation where if you had at least, at the very least communicated what your intention was, maybe this brimstone wouldn't have thrown the smoke like this. Like I'm gonna go push mid and then a smoke gets thrown that kind of interrupts what your plan is obviously. And then the other piece too, is that if you're actively communicating what it is you're doing, when you're doing it, you won't have four people in middle, you know, just mindlessly watching you going in and saying, hey, good luck, man. You do your thing, you do you. They might be actually with you here. And if you well, died, the then they trade. Correct. Brim zone on where the smoke was supposed to be. Good. We're getting close to the end here. Hopefully you got a good amount of takeaways. Ooh, oh, 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 why? What are we doing? Why? What happened here? I was here? gonna rotate through mid. Why? Because I didn't think my strategy through. Okay, but here's fully. the thing. When you buy an operator or when you buy a marshal, it limits your options for movement. You can't move forward. You have to be falling back. So if you're trying to rotate through mid, it's just a big no-no because your ability to be able to take fights in a close range area, I don't care how confident you are, statistically it's not in your favor. For a rotation for an operator or for a marshal, you always want the path of least resistance. The places that you can't rotate to are purely behind you. You always look for distance. You always go for the furthest way from any kind of fight, unless you absolutely have to go to a closer range fight. So you purchase that weapon, your ability to now move through mid is pretty much done. And the other thing you need to think about is that when you're going in here with a marshal, consider all the threats. You don't know if Talos is clear for sure. You definitely don't know if top mid is clear because Hello, darkness, my old friend. Here comes the Reina shooting you in the face again, right? Like the fourth time this game. Yeah. So you're you're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself a lot by rotating certain places. I'm all for being aggressive and taking space, but not when you're playing with a marshal or when you're playing with an operator. I would be terrified here. I would be popping dash. I'd be trying to figure out something, asking for a flash from sky to pop a flash right through here. Your dash is popped. You take a fight, fall back. Cool, back off, back off, back off. So here's the thing. You got to kill here. In a higher rank, this rain is calling out exactly where you are. They know exactly where you are. You're spamming through the smoke. You are basically telegraphing. You need to get the heck out of here because they're going to spam right down into you right afterwards. I'm this is an easy kill. Detail. You're very fortunate. As far as I'm concerned, you're very fortunate right now that you're not I dead. I won the lottery right there. Yeah. And there it is. Like this guy should have been here much sooner. So there's a few things here. Like there's a lot, but let's 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 start with very basic stuff. Things that you can apply right away. If you're spamming with a vandal through a smoke, my recommendation is to tap fire through it at head level because your tracers are coming through, they can hear you. And in a spot like this, where it's very easy just to spam right down because they know you're stuck in this corner, you're asking for a lot of trouble. So I'd rather you hold head level, go one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. All it takes is one bullet to be able to hit them and to be able to finish them off. This is especially useful for when you're fighting against someone who's sitting in smoke and they're defusing the bomb. You go at crouch height, head level, one, two, three, four, five. All you gotta do is hit one bullet and the head level and you're good to go.